Apollo 11, Houston. We're getting the TV at Goldstone. We're not quite configured here at Houston for the transmission. Uh, we'll be up in a couple of minutes. Over. All right. This is just for free. This isn't uh, what we had in mind. Roger.
11 Houston. It's a pretty good show here. It looks like you almost got the probe out. Yeah, it's moved now. Did you see that? Yeah, I did. Roger, Neil's really good. Not much light up in that area, but uh, apparently uh, the TV says they will pick it up. There are some bright spots uh, shining on the probe, uh, apparently sun shafting on it, that uh, just gives just about enough to, for us to make it out over. I, I think those are the tunnel lights. Oh, okay. You're right. Okay, it's loose now, coming down. Roger. Looks like it's a little bit easier than doing that in the chamber. Houston, that's a beautiful picture now we got. Uh, we're looking at a 12-second delay in, uh, to us. You're just bringing it down by the optics now. Mike must have done a smooth job in that dock, and uh, there isn't a dent or a mark on the probe. Roger. We're really getting a great picture here, 11 over. In Houston, uh, with a 12-foot cable, we estimate you should have about five to six feet uh, excess when you get it, the camera into the limb. Over. Roger. Now uh, we can see the probe now. A correction to drove. Roger. Drug removal is coming next. Roger. As we suspected. Eleven Houston, now it's a good view of the storage area under the couch. Eleven Houston looks like it's pretty crowded in there with that drogue over. Oh, it's That's not really bad. This uh, TV cable is getting in the way. We 
see lots of arms. Apollo 11, Houston, do you have a little white dot in the bottom of your monitor, on TV monitor, over? Uh, Roger, we do. Roger, I guess part of the camera's uh, been burned out down there. These are really beautiful pictures now, Buzz, over, real clear. Okay, we might have got just a little bit of sun in there. Is it just uh, one small white dot? That's primitive. Houston, the tunnel looks pretty clear to us. Somebody going up there now. Over. Uh, it's Mike from, uh, checking his uh, connectors up there now. Right. Eleven Houston, the lighting up in there looks very good to us at this time. Over. I think that's mostly the camera. It uh, it's subdued to say the least. Roger, it's uh, pretty. It's gathering pretty well to us. Uh, we see everything quite clearly up in there.
dock latches look good today, just like they did yesterday. Everything up in there looks just fine. That sounds fine to us, over. Houston, we can even read the decals up there on the limb hatch. Well, let me zoom it up and uh, see how much you can read. Okay. We can see the... Uh, the umbilical connection quite well there, Buzz. You see you're zooming in on one of the decals now that uh, to reset, unlatch handle, latch behind uh, grip and pull back two full strokes. That's about all we can make out. Hey, you got an A plus. Thank you very much, sir. At least I passed my eye test. I'm standing six feet from it, Charlie, and you can read it better than I can. There's something wrong with the system. Roger. Real good view of the uh, limb hatch handle there. Eleven over. Roger. Looks like we'll be ready to uh, go into the limb early uh, if that's okay with y'all down there. Roger, it's fine with us, Neil. Go ahead anytime you wish. Over. In Houston, the white spot you see on your monitor, our TV people say it is a burn spot, but they expect it to dissipate after a couple hours. Over. Roger. Thank you.
Okay, the uh, dump valve is actuated. Roger, copy, 11. We see that very clearly. Is that uh, you, Buzz, with your hand on it? Yeah. Evan Houston, we're really amazed at the quality of the picture up in the tunnel. It's uh, really superb, over. It is considering the amount of light up in there. Roger, we're about to open the hatch now. Right. There's that same guy that when you open up the door, why he's waiting there for you and he turns the lights on. How about that? It's like the refrigerator. Well, I see uh, viewing through your, by your right, left shoulder there is good. We can see the acid engine cover, the Velcro on it. And uh, that's about all we can make out right now. Uh, we see the helmet still. We don't see anything loose up there. Well, great. Looks good to us. We see your helmet storage bag. And 11 Houston, we got a view of the cliff there off the right of our screen. Eleven Houston, uh, Bussy already in. Over. Right, I jump halfway in. I'm gonna start turning around. I guess. Right. <laughs> Apollo 11, Houston, uh, we'd like you to read out the LCG reservoir uh, site level, over. Okay, stand by. We have a good view of the window there. Uh, it looks like the sun is apparently coming through uh, the shade. Yeah, I'm afraid it's, uh, we're just about uh, plus Z uh, right toward the sun. That's permanent. This attitude put both windows uh, right towards the sun for the limb over. We 
get a view, uh, Buzz, of the uh, utility light cord. Sure if you've, uh... Now, let me show you a view looking the other way. Right. And we see uh, right now a uh, utility light or either a uh, floodlight uh, up there. I think now I see the uh, utility light still in the storage bag. Hey, that's a great shot right there. We see you in there. I guess that's uh, Neil and Mike. Better be, anyway. Houston, that's a really a beautiful shot. <laughs> 11 Houston, we didn't quite decipher that signal. It just came from the CMP. Just clear the low. On the uh, LCG space gauge, we got him at... Uh, That looks good to us. Thank you much. It is the white index, is it not? That uh, you're interested in comparing whether it's in the red or green? Stand by. That's affirmative, Buzz. It uh, looks good. That's a uh, good reading for us. Over. Okay. We had a shot moment, a moment ago of the suit disconnect valve. Houston, that's a real good view. We have the AOT. Uh, you're back now, Buzz, and notice you're taking down one of the window shades. Over. The light is superb. Yeah, how's the uh, sun coming in? How's the sun coming in from this direction going to uh, affect what you can see? It made it really super. Uh, the, the lighting is excellent in the in the limb right now. We can uh, make out the AOT, the ISA. And uh, the left-hand uh, window uh, is a little glare off of that, but uh, the LMP side, the, the, with the shade down, it's really excellent, over. Well, let's, uh, I'm turned around. I, uh, I took the shade off my side first. Roger, we copy. The light level for the TV is really excellent, over. Yeah, the lighting in the lamp is very nice now, just like completely daily up uh, and uh, everything is visible. Good bit lighter than the tunnel was earlier. Roger, we got a good view now, Neil, of the uh, DITA and also uh, buses uh, ACA. at the front hatch now. Uh, everything seems to be in place down there. Roger. We got the uh, dump valve uh, in view. Over. I 
Alan Houston, we see you removing the ISA now, holding it up, putting it up by the uh, AOT. The instrument panels are coming into view behind. Yeah, I think uh, it'd probably be best if we've got an SPS burn to uh, put it back uh, over the instrument panel instead of putting it up over the uh, less than a recharge station. Would you care to comment on that one? We could do either just as easily. Stand by. We'll have an answer for you momentarily. 11, Houston, it's really a super shot of the main display. Houston, it's pretty hard to describe this view. It's really, really great. Now you know how we feel. Okay, Neil's OPS is about 57, 5800. Copy. And mine's about 5800 also. Copy. Houston, that's a good shot of uh, Neil's cliff there. Over. No, that's mine. Houston, that moment, that moment ago, we had a good shot of uh, your bliss buzz and the two helmet storage bags. And now behind your uh, left shoulder buzz, we have the, the Disky and the ACA. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take all the uh, loose data on back into the command module, Charlie. Roger. Uh, Houston, it's Charlie Houston.
Apollo 11 Houston, uh, Buzz that appears that you uh, attempting to put on the sun filter and uh, viewing the sun through the AOT, over. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, it looks like it's down a little bit uh, more towards Los Angeles than I can be able to see in the AOT. Roger. I got a beautiful view of the uh, side of the command module out of the AOT looking in the uh, left rear detent. Right. I can see the hatch and all the uh, all the EVA handrails. First time we've seen the uh, silvery outside of the command module. I can read the letters on the uh, hatch cover. It's a uh, boost cover uh, release and the big yellow arrow that points toward the uh, uh, opening uh, place where the tool B goes. Right. Great shot now, back down into the... And left on me. Go ahead, Buzz, over. Say again. I'm just saying we got a great shot looking In back into the command module. Okay. Yeah, on the left detent, I can see the uh, AO, uh, the uh, rendezvous radar. And when I move to the forward detent, that's about all I've got. I'm looking eyeball to eyeball. Uh, Charlie, is there any concern uh, about the duration that we ought to have the uh, window shades open? Stand by. Don't have any. We don't have any uh, circulation in here, and uh, might get a little on the warm side. Right. a good idea, or <laughs> Apollo 11, Houston, as far as the window shades go and the lay on the Nothing except for crew comfort. Uh, I don't think we got any systems problems. Be sure to put them back up when you egress. Over. Uh, we will do. Uh, Charlie, I'll give you a view out of the overhead window back uh, looking 
That's the uh, command module uh, right hand rendezvous window. Roger. Well, we see it now. Thank you a lot, Buzz. It's a good view through the overhead. One watch run. One watch going by the overhead. Right. There we go, we got it now. Uh, there wasn't very much uh, debris in the command module or the limb. We found very few uh, uh, loose particles of uh, bolts, nuts and screws and lint things. Very few in each, uh, each spacecraft. They were very clean. Roger. Sounds good. Eleven Houston, we have a good view out of the rendezvous. Uh, correction, the overhead window of the limb, we don't see anybody staring back at us, though, over. Charlie, can you see uh, Mike two eyeballs here on Adams City uh, rendezvous window? Eleven, Houston, stand by. We haven't picked him up yet. You're looking through a lot of layers of glass. Eleven Houston, uh, uh, we had a we had a slight glimpse of uh, Mike in the rendezvous winter at that time. It's pretty murky looking into there though. Okay, here he is. I've got him. I've got him on the monitor now. Right. Okay, we see him staring back at us now. <laughs> Hello in there. Apollo 11, Houston, our recommendation for the ISA is to stow it to back over the instrument panel, over. Right here, we'll do.
drive in Houston, we can make out the markings on the panel. We've read system A, acid fuel, acid oxidizer, quads one, quad four. The, it's really unbelievable the definition we're getting down here off that little camera over. We can even see the barber pole on the talk back. We can read the markings on the instruments uh, for the glycol pressure, quantity, PCO2. Even read the scale on the eight ball, over. Eleven Houston, we see the cross feed uh, barber pole, and we had the Velcro patches back up to the RCS systems now. We can see the markings on the uh, uh, meters, uh, green and red bands in limit. We see you raise the cover on the abort stage. We don't recommend that. Yeah, we're going to tape that one over. Right. We're going to tape that one over. We concur. The uh, restraints in here do a pretty good job of pulling my pants down. Roger. We haven't quite got that before the 50 million TV audience yet. Houston, that's a good view of the eight ball. We see it can even read the off flag there. You can see the signal strength meter for the radar. Read the numbers on it. Uh, Houston, uh, did you want us to uh, test the cameras in the LEM? And uh, I was wondering about that. I saw it in the flight plan, but I'm uh, just wondering if you want to do that on uh, CSM power, or do you want us to take uh, both of the 16 millimeter cameras back into CSM and uh, test them there? Over. Stand by, bus. As an alternative to that, why we could wait until uh, LOI day and uh, there's that uh, word again, ancillary stowage container. Right. Oh, the shades didn't quite hack it there, Buzz. Over.
Houston 11, are you still getting high bit rate off the Omnis at this distance? Stand by, Mike. Apollo 11, Houston, about 50% of the time we're getting high bit rate off the Omnis when you're in PTC, over. Okay, thank you. Apollo 11, Houston, Neil, at this attitude, you look like you're about 12 feet long. Seems like I always find myself upside down on whatever I'm doing around here. Apollo 11, Houston, could you give us a few comments on your crew comfort with the CSM hoses uh, moving the air around over? Well, it's picking up a little bit of circulation in here. What do you estimate the temperature is, Buzz, over? Maybe uh, 73, 75. Right. It's uh, hard to tell uh, at this uh, density and uh, pressure of uh, gas, but the uh, comfort level is about the, about the same as the command module. It's a little warmer or stuffier when we first got in, but uh, it seems to be improving. Houston copies out. You may be able to see uh, some, Go ahead. Some, some particles jumping around on your screen. That's uh, just uh, dust particles that are being eliminated by sun shafting in the window. Roger, they're very clear now. Over. And that's a good view of uh, Neil's uh, correction of Buzz's uh, circuit breaker panel there.
I can uh, just barely see the uh, handrail on the front porch from uh, this position on the uh, right-hand window. Roger. Eleven, Houston, our view of the, the panel eleven uh, is uh, gets brighter than darker. Are you, are you uh, changing the f-stop at all? Over. Now what's happening is uh, that we get pretty close to the window now and then, and it, uh, it drives the automatic light control uh, into the stop. I think. Uh, I think that's right. Yeah, I had to switch on outside while I was going through the uh, overhead window. That may uh, be what's contributing to some of it. Roger. Well, Evan Houston, we seem to be picking up a few bit more dust particles now. We see them um, quite clearly in the uh, screen now. Over. Yeah, I'm choking on one every so often. Eleven, Houston, uh, your show is going out to the U.S. now. We're about to get the satellite up. It'll be transmitted uh, to some other countries after that. Over. Roger. I'm uh, checking out this window bracket uh, where I'll be putting it for the uh, EVA uh, pictures of Neil going down the ladder. Roger. Paul 11, Houston, we keep marveling about the color and the clarity of the picture. Uh, it's really difficult to describe it, so it's just perfect, over. At 11, doesn't look like you're having too much trouble with that bracket up there, Buzz. I tell you, those uh, new knobs really uh, make it easy to twist the thing and uh, get it uh, cinched down quite tight. Eleven, uh, Houston, buzz out of the alignment. Look there. Looks pretty good, as well as I can tell. Without the gear extended, I can't uh, uh, get a real definitive answer. But uh, you couldn't fix it to any place to see uh, much more out of the window without uh, hand holding it for the whole time. Roger. It looks like to us it's going to work real well. Enough room to. Uh, yeah, I think so.
Because we see you putting your window guard in place there. And uh, back up to the ISA now. Uh, Houston, ask FAO if the 90 degree bracket isn't stowed in the uh, commander's uh, stowage assembly. Stand by. Eleven, Houston, uh, Buzz, uh, you still looking for that 90 degree bracket over? Yeah, he is looking for it now. All right, you will have a word for you in just a moment. My monitor shows a pretty good, uh, clear picture from this angle. How we found the 90 degree bracket. Roger, Neil. Uh, it's uh, really a super picture. We've got the ACA, your ACA, the, the good picture of the throttle, the 90 degree bracket. We see the uh, start, uh, your handles, and uh, now over to the bracket. That's about the position. Uh, we'll be putting the camera in after the initial descent down the ladder, and it'll be taking one frame a second for uh, most of the EVA. Houston copies out. That's a real good view of that camera.
our monitor is a little bit wavy, so it's uh, hard for us to tell when we're when we've got a steady picture for you. Eleven, we have no complaints at all. We don't see that waviness on our picture. It's just really great. Over. Do the edges of the window look like straight lines to you? That's affirmative. Okay, they they don't in our monitor, and uh, that leads us to make some uh, corrections to the camera, which probably aren't required sometimes. Eleven, we have no complaints at all. It's a magnificent picture. What was that, Buzz, you're chasing now? That was, uh, that was me picking up some uh, particles of paint that were floating through the air in front of the camera there. Right, Neil, we got it. There's us at uh, Neil's about to check the Velcro map there. Okay, Buzz, we see the card up now. Okay, for those of you that don't know, this is where we uh, lock most of our data for each of the uh, LEM maneuvers. And uh, we have another card like this, it's the timeline book, that uh, we place down on the table in front of the uh, that end display keyboard. And it's on this timeline that we have all our procedures. So we obviously uh, have to hold these in place in zero G, so we make use of the Velcro patches on the back and on the table. So we can attach these down here. And then we just turn the pages over when we go to new sequences in our uh, timeline of procedures. Roger. And we're ready to copy the DOI pad. Watch, we'll have the photos work that one up for you momentarily. Houston, that was a good shot of panel two. Now we got panel three in view with the temp monitor switch. The stabilization and control panel we see now with the mode control switches. Now over to the rendezvous radar. Real good. Eleven, that's real good uh, camera work. Oh, 
probably the most unusual position a cameraman's ever hit, hanging by his toes uh, from a tunnel and taking a picture upside down. Roger, well, you're doing a super job. We got a uh, good view of the cross corner there. Had a good view of the tape meter. We're giving you a picture now of the uh, floor of the cabin. I think you can see the uh, one of the two portable life support systems uh, backpacks here in the center. And on each side, we have the two uh, helmet visors. I'll remove one of them and show you uh, a little closer view of what this looks like. Roger. Inside the helmet visors are the EVA gloves with the blue tips. I'll not take those out now. Right, boys, that's a great shot now that we're getting of the helmet, of the EVA visor, and also the, the uh, EVA gloves in the background. Okay, you did say this was going out now, didn't you? Stand by, I think so. Eleven, uh, you got a pretty big audience. It's live in the U.S., it's going live to Japan, Western Europe, and much of South America. Everybody reports very good color. Appreciate the great show. Roger, understand. Thank you. That was a good demonstration of your EVA uh, visor assembly. Appreciate it. Well, that's the good view of Mr. Collins down there. We finally see him again. Hello there, Earthling. Hello there. Eleven Houston, we noticed uh, when you were scanning over panels two a moment ago, one and two, the uh, two eight balls were slightly in disagreement. Uh, control said he'd like to uh, ag the line there. Yeah, one of them ags, one of them things. The problem is we don't know uh, whether the line eggs the pings or pings eggs. Stand by. Eleven, Chris said he can tell you. We'll cage them both. 
inside. I go home with Charlie to get back in the line again. But I can imagine. Houston, if that's not the Earth, we're in trouble. That's the Earth, and we have a very good view of it today. There are a few more uh, cloud bands on than uh, yesterday when we beamed down to you, but uh, it's a beautiful sight. Notice the difference between yesterday and today. This is as large an image as we can give you. 
Roger, it's distinctly smaller. Uh, you're now 177,000 miles out. Over. That's uh, nautical miles. That's affirmative. Eleven weeks. Go ahead, over. Eleven Houston, we see the uh, still see the banding along the intertropical uh, convergence. Uh, I guess the most predominant one as around the up in the around the equator or slightly uh, north of the equator. Yeah, that's the way it looks, Charlie. Same as Charlie, I'd like to say uh, hello to all uh, my fellow scouts and scatters at uh, Farragut State Park in Idaho. They have a national jamboree there this week, and Apollo 11 would like to send them best wishes. Thank you, Apollo 11. I'm sure that uh, if they didn't hear that, uh, they will get the word uh, through the uh, news. Uh, certainly appreciate that. Houston, we have you, uh, your subspacecraft point is just off the western coast of South America, uh, directly south of, of about Mexico City, Owen. That, uh, that looks like what we observed from here. Uh, we have some other work to do. Uh, 